back to my channel so I hope you're all well. If you're new here then thanks for clicking on this video, it means so much if you could go down there and click subscribe. Um, let me know up at the end of the video which is your, um, what makeup you're loving at the moment uh, and also let me know how I did with my makeup, whether you'd like to see me do more makeup. Um, routines like this so maybe a glam one when I'm going out let me know in the comments below what you thought and um, so I'm going to be doing my daily makeup routine I don't usually put makeup on every day but if I do I would put it out put it on at the weekends or I would put it on maybe when I go to college but not very often so I thought I'd just show you how I do my makeup um, don't judge because obviously I don't know how to do makeup very well so if you could give me any tips down in the comments below that will be much appreciated and um, without further ado let's get into the video so first off I thought I would um, use my Kiko Smart uh, hydrating foundation uh, this is in the shade warm beige uh, so what I do is usually Put it on my finger and then just dot it around my face because I find this is the easiest way to do it. And so I put a little bit more on because it's not quite done. So then uh, what I would do is um, just spread it around my face into areas, make sure it's my neckline. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be talking whilst I do this, but um, I feel like that's not a, a very good like video if you don't really talk. So if you want me to answer any questions um, in more videos like this, then let me know. Obviously, this is an unprepared video. I don't really... Um, no one I was going to film it so yeah let me know in the comments um, whether you'd like to do me to do another makeup video but like a more chatty one um, where you maybe I answer your assumptions or your questions uh, maybe if you leave me questions in the comments below then maybe I can answer them in my next video when I do makeup or an um, makeup related video so just going to don't judge obviously I I have not been uh, trained properly how to do this so I don't really know I suppose I can talk about uh, oh, yesterday I had my uh, Spanish speaking mock I didn't feel that went very well um, she kind of just sprung it on us which I guess is kind of a good thing um, because then uh, we don't really know yeah because then we don't really know and um, then she can kind of test like where we're at, currently at yeah I mean I don't know not sure when we'll get our mock results back but um, however I did get my English IOC slash IOP mark back the other day uh, which I did quite a long time ago and I got a grade five, which I'm so happy with. Uh, so yeah, I'm going out to celebrate with my um, my mum, my dad and my brother, which would be really nice today. So I thought I'd put on a bit of makeup uh, to make myself look half decent. Um, so I'm gonna just put a little bit more on because I didn't quite cover my nose and other areas down here. Maybe a bit patchy. I'm not. I'm not very good when it comes to makeup, so please excuse me. If you have any tips on how to do makeup properly, and then let me know in the comments below. Be much appreciated. So that's. Um, just spilt my foundation and um 
So next up, um, just hang on a moment, I just need to go wash my hands. I'm back, sorry, I just had to go wash my hands because they were covered in foundation. So after my foundation, I usually do um, my mascara first. So this is the um, number seven exceptional definition nutrient enriched mascara. I've been loving this mascara at the moment. Um, so, yeah, whilst I am, um, excuse me if you don't like this bit, but I'm not very good at doing, yeah, I'm not very good at doing mascara. I know, and that's probably not a very good way to do it on here because I can't really see it properly. So that's it for my mascara. I didn't really put much on. I don't know how to do mascara again. So, yeah. And then I usually put on my eyeshadow. So for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Autograph Create the Look palette, which I got for Christmas. I find this hard to open. Yeah. So as you can probably tell, oh, there's quite a lot. All these shades here are... Um, eyeshadow shades and there's lip shades there, highlight and lasher. Um, so if I tell you what, so I'm going to be using for my base the chiffon colour and then I'm going to be putting rose gold and maybe like um, maybe amethyst on top. So I will show you how I do that. Um, so I hope everyone's week has been good at college, etc. Mine's not been great, just been doing mocks and um, yes, yeah, so I haven't been really even busy back into the flow of things next week. Um, so we'll just be doing normal things and then hopefully the week after we'll get our January mock results and then I'll be able to do a video on that for you. Um, maybe an expectation so how I thought my mocks went compared to how they actually went so in reality like showing you my grades and talking you through everything so if that's a video you'd like to see let me know in the comments below but other than that I'm gonna just start my so for my base shade I'm using the colour chiffon um, which is quite a nice base shade so yeah Probably won't be able to see this very well. Um, as I said, I'm not great at my um, eyeshadow, so please don't judge. Hopefully, like, if you can, guys can let me know in the comments what, like, some tips and stuff. Um, I can't believe how um, quickly my uh, exams are going to come around. They're like in the beginning of May uh, and then after my exams um, I'll pretty, pretty much be finished and yeah I was thinking like I will, might do a video on my mock results, no my exam results sorry and then what I'll be doing like during the time that I've got uh, before I go to university, um, so if that's a video you want, just let me know in the comments. Oh, 
and then I'm going to be using the rose gold um, but with a different, different brush this is probably the only shade I don't think I'll use amethyst because I think this is one that's quite a strong colour Yeah, oh, I'm really liking the colour. Yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit more on because you can't quite see it. Yeah, if you can't already tell, I've had my hair cut and I really like it. So, yeah. Because I didn't have my hair cut, I haven't had my hair cut since August before I went on holiday. So it's been a long time coming and I really needed it cut, so yeah. I hope the next time I go is probably when I get my hair done for the prom. Um, I'm not sure undecided on what I want to have my hair uh, like for the prom. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. But I think I'd probably have it straight or like curled maybe, because I think that's quite nice. Um... Or I might have it up, I don't know. Um, so, yeah. And now on to my uh, eyeliner, eyeliner thing. This is uh, by number seven, the Stay Perfect. It's just, you put it along here, just to give your eyes a bit of a shimmer. Probably can't see, but I really like that. Yeah, I, I'm really liking the chiffon um, and the rose gold look. So, if you would like me to like test out any other colours in this palette, just let me know in the comments. Um, so, then moving on to my, I'm not sure whether to put bronze or blush on. I think I'm going to put black, uh, bronzer and then I can put highlight on afterwards. Uh, so I just, for bronzer, I just use the Natural Collection Bronze. Um, I really like this. It gives your face a bit of a shimmer. Again, don't judge because I don't know how to do bronzer. So I think you just... Um... Just to give my face a bit of colour. more on then last second last we have um my I'm getting a bit messy here we have um we have the let me just think we have the highlight which I'm going to be using this lipsy brush for because it's uh, fairly thin and narrow so um yeah, let me just check which one's the highlight so the highlight is this one it's the apricot um shimmer highlighter and i really like this highlight it's very nice i've been loving highlight at the moment so just give me a nose a bit of a shimmer and then Hopefully you can see that. Glow. Glowing. <laughs> so I was just checking what my highlight looked like. I think you can kind of see highlight looks like I think that looks oh no it looks black because I mixed it in with the black 
So that's it. And then I've just got my Lip Lustre uh, lip gloss in a really dark, like pink shade. Um, so I just put that on and then completed the makeup look. Oh my god, that's really dark. Oh my god. I didn't realise how dark this is. Hmm. Excuse how bad my makeup skills are. Yeah, just get that off with a. Yeah. And that's not very really good. So that's the finished makeup look. So that's how I do my makeup mainly on a day-to-day -day basis. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do. Mainly do my um, makeup at weekends. Um, so if you like this video, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe down below for videos from me three times a week. I upload beauty, fashion and lifestyle videos. So if you enjoy them videos, don't forget to stick around, turn on the post notifications to make sure you're notified. And also let me know in the comments below um, what your um, favourite makeup products are at the moment. Um, what did you think of my makeup look? Give me any tips or techniques I could use to improve. Um, and let me know if you want me to do a glam um, get ready with me. I'm also thinking of doing like a prom get ready with me. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!